you can create this bamboo icon in Affinity Designer on your iPad Pro. I'm gonna show you all the steps I made and I'm gonna show you a lot of fun ticks and tricks like transparency, masking, gradients, etc. So watch carefully and make sure you don't miss anything. And let's begin. First of all, create a new document and set up its size to your device size. In my case, this is an iPad Pro 9.7 Retina. So let's create a new document and pick up directly rectangle tool to create your color palette. I don't know why, but I like to have my color palette right on the artboard. So I let you the color codes right in the description down below and I let you the color codes in the end of the video. You can skip this step and go to the next phase or you can set up it right now with me. Okay, now we are done with our color palette. Let's group our rectangles and center, and center them on the canvas. Then pick up again the rectangle tool and we're gonna start drawing our bamboo icons. But first, open the color menu, make sure to set the fill color to light green and the stroke color to the brown one. Draw a rectangle and now you need to convert it to curves. This is how you're gonna be able to add some arcs to your shape using Node 2. Just follow my movements. Once you're happy with your shape, duplicate it and move it vertically. To do that, I'm just holding my finger on the screen. Now select both shapes and duplicate them and move them horizontally. Okay, now we're gonna turn our bricks into a one single shape using Alt button. Pick up ellipse from rectangle tool. Draw an ellipse. Set up the stroke width to seven points or the size you like. Move it right to your bamboo shape and rotate it a little bit and make sure that ellipse contours are overcrossing the bamboo contour. Now duplicate your ellipse, we're gonna use it as a backup one. Select the ellipse and your bamboo shape at the same time. And you're gonna subtract it. If you don't like the result or you are getting something similar to mine one, only thing you need to do is to make your ellipse bigger. Subtract button again and you're gonna get something similar to this. No worries, it's easy to remove, pick up node tool and then select all the nodes you don't need and press delete button. Make visible your backup ellipse, center it if needed and now choose the bamboo shape and set up the stroke width to the seven points as well. Now let's draw the line right in the middle. Make sure to use pen tool in the line mode. I advise you to do it with your fingers since it will be easier to make a straight line. Then we're gonna do something similar with our bigger bamboo. Set up it to 7 points and duplicate your already existing curve. And we're gonna mirror this one. Okay, looks fair done. Some details if needed. Let's center some of the curves, if needed, of course. Duplicate it and let's deform it a little bit. Now 
and let's rotate the first one as well. Let's group it. Let's group it all. So your layer panel is pretty clean and organized. Let's put them all together. Make sure you like the composition. So now we're gonna start coloring our icon. Let's start with this one and go inside your layer panel, go to this group and select the curve. Duplicate it and then drag the new curve inside the old one. Make sure it's inside. Then open color panel and set up fill color to green. Move the shape slightly to the right and don't forget to remove truck color. If you need to adjust the position of the shape, you can turn off magnet guides so you will be able to move the shape with more freedom. Now I'm going to repeat the operation for the next two bambos so you can follow my movements. Now we're gonna draw some leaves and to do that let's go back to our ellipse tool and let's draw an ellipse. And then set up the stroke color of this ellipse to the brown and convert this ellipse to curves. Then choose the node tool, select the top and bottom nodes and make them sharp. To have the second leaf, just duplicate the first one, rotate it a little bit, maybe scale down this one and you're done. Select the leaves and place them on the bamboos. Let's mirror the leaves in the transformation menu and we're gonna move them to the other side. And now I'm gonna show you how I draw the ground line. Now it's a great moment to center your icon on the canvas. Choose the node tool and tap on the ground line and press the break button. So you're gonna get two lines and you're gonna move one of them slightly to the right. Let's go back to our layer panel and let's organize it a little bit. So you, for example, you can group the ground lines and you can close all the group folders. Now I want to create a background rectangle and to create it directly on the background I'm gonna select the color palette group so the next element or object I create gonna be on top of the selected element on the layer menu. Set up the fill color of this rectangle to the light green we have used it in the beginning. Center a little bit the rectangle, maybe you can make it smaller, we can make round edges to do that. Tap on rectangle tool and you will see a menu on the button of your interface. So then I thought that it would be fun to add a little bit of shadows and volumes and here you can see the before and after result. So I've done already two of them. I followed a little bit wrong process that was more complicated than it should be. So now I'm gonna show you the easier process I follow it to shadow the bamboo on the last one.
so now we are done with our icon and here you have the color codes and I really would love to know your opinion about this tutorial and I would like to thank you a lot for watching until this moment and appreciate it a lot and you are supporting a lot the work I'm doing.